parkings in the city are roughly up 50% from the same time last year. That is despite putting more officers in hot spot areas. And today, Cincinnati Police Chief Elliot, uh, Elliot Isaac was at City Hall to explain it to council. Local 12's Angela Ingram takes a look at the violence from a victim's perspective. 68 homicides and 355 shootings as of this morning in Cincinnati. Behind the numbers, there are real people dealing with the real effects of gun violence. Shooting survivor Rayshawn Smith says just because a shooting isn't life threatening doesn't mean it's not life altering. The pain and the suffering that you got to go through trying to walk again, like, and then you got to like rebuild your, your muscles. Rayshawn was shot in 2013 and paralyzed. He since started a basketball group, a support group for paraplegics, and he speaks to youth about the effects of gun violence. The city's latest violent numbers are alarming to him. It's kind of like hard to see a lot of people going going through the same going through the to the same things like the same struggles that I have already been going through. There have been 68 homicides this year. 62 were shootings, and shootings are up 50% from this time last year. Today, there are 355 shootings. Last year, there were 356 in all of 2019. We are seeing an unprecedented level of violence being inflicted on our community and against our police officers. CPD gets $1 million in overtime, or about $100,000 a month, to put extra officers on the streets. We talked about the overtime, and, um, you know, pretty much that's what it takes to address the issues that, that come up. Officers are solving homicides at high rates and using technology like ShotSpotter to reduce shootings. Rayshawn says the thought of the city ending its year with such high numbers is disturbing. Because I even tell people, you could be just at the wrong place at the wrong time. Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. Mayor John Cranley and Chief Isaac both wrote letters to Governor DeWine saying that closing bars early has actually increased shootings. And that's because people are gathering in private in large crowds after hours and then getting into disputes. DeWine says he's now looking at whether legally Cincinnati could be exempt from the 10 p.m. last call rule.